Copyright, copyright. Copy right. <laughs> I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live, and I cover every single major fight live. I had an interesting talk with, of all people, Keith One Time Thurman. Do you know, according to Keith Thurman, that he cannot go to the WBA to ask for the WBA to make Floyd Mayweather fight him? As far as Floyd Mayweather is the WBA Super World. Keith One Time Thurman is the WBA World or regular champion. But in the WBA, they're considered to be two interim belts. But here is the crazy thing. You have Andre Berto, who's the WBA interim champion. He quietly won that from Jose Zito Lopez or during the Jose Zito Lopez fight. And I'm asking myself, well, wait a minute. The WBA ordered Carl Frotch to fight Andre Ward and then when he didn't they stripped him and it just makes me think well is it because Keith Thurman or didn't knock out George Groves in front of 80,000 at Wembley there's so many questions that I have you know about this WBA situation so for example you have Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin who's the WBA world champion but then you have Danny Jacobs, no, you have Gennady Gennadyevich Golovkin, Triple G, who's the WBA Super World Champion. But then you have Danny Jacobs, the WBA World. But then you have Chris Eubank Jr. You got it, if you don't know, if you don't know what I mean when I'm doing that. Who's the WBA interim? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. The WBA has got to, I, I don't know, maybe it's just Floyd Mayweather, but it's obvious that Keith Thurman wants to fight Floyd Mayweather, and maybe he did at one point in time, maybe against the big guy's orders, go, um, go to the WBA and try to get the WBA to make Floyd Mayweather fight him, but then it's like, well, wait a minute, why Andre Berto? So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the link of the interview in the, in the um, description box, and this whole WBA situation is confusing. And that's one of the reasons why I can't really respect that belt. If I'm correct, isn't Mauricio Herrera the WBA world champion at 140 pounds? But then Danny Swift Garcia is still the WBA super world at 140 pounds. Danny Garcia vacated his, WBA, I mean his WBC title at 140, but he's still listed as the WBA. What is going on with the WBA? Now we all know when it comes to the belts, I'm going to say in my opinion that they're ranked like this as far as the most important to not important. Now, WBC of course, the green belt is the cream of the crop. In my opinion, the IBF is number two because IBF's rules are strict and clear cut. Then I'm going to go to the WBO because even though the WBO is somewhat in my opinion an HBO top ranked dominated belt. The WBO was just all fucked up. I just started to say it. I don't know what type of situation. Now me, I follow enough boxing. I follow enough boxing to know what's going on. For example, another example. Jurgen Bremer is the WBA world champion at 175 pounds. Sergey Kovalev is the WBA super world champion at 175 pounds. Floyd Mayweather is the WBA Super World Champion at 154 pounds. Iris Landy Lara is the WBA World Champion or Regular Champion. Remember, they call it either the World or the Regular Type Champion at 154 pounds. But they're not mandatories. Who's the interim? According to Chief Thurman, and I've noticed this, that the WBA mandatories are not obligated I mean, the WBA Super World Champions are not obligated to fight their mandatories. So who do they fight? Here's what things get crazier. Andre Ward has held the WBA World Super World Championship. The championship. If I'm correct, the last time he defended that title was in December of 2013 against Edwin Rodriguez. If I'm correct... But Carl Frotch 
of uh, defenses against George Groves, knocks out George Groves in front of 80,000, and then six months later, he's stripped. It's craziness. It's craziness. I don't use profanity as much in my videos anymore. And maybe it's the Phil Collins that got me all riled up. But the WBA has got to get that shit together. Because in this internet and social media age, their rules look... You know what I'm going to do? I used to do this type of stuff. I don't have the time to do it as much as I used to. You know, where I actually read the whole WBC rules and all that type of stuff. You know, and then when it, when it comes to all those lawsuits and all those affidavits, I read all that stuff. I'm going to read the WBA rules because none of this makes sense. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live with RealCombatMedia.com. As I said, I'm going to post that Keith Thurman um, WBA situation right below. Please subscribe.